Have you started playing Ninjala and are you having a hard time? Well, today we are going to talk about how to win at Ninjala. How can you make your best in your foray into the land of ninjas and bubblegum? Yes, this is a game about ninjas and bubblegum. And it's a cool free-to-play game, the latest edition in Nintendo's growing library of free-to-play games. We know Apex Legends is coming soon, but who cares about Apex Legends right now, frankly? Because Ninjala is super, super cool. Aesthetically, it looks a lot like Splatoon 2, but it doesn't play anything like Splatoon 2. It's very different, although they very obviously were inspired by it in a lot of ways. I'm so glad this is free to play. I know a lot of you are jumping in there and trying the game for your first time. And I know that because yesterday when the game launched, the servers died a whole bunch. But now the servers are super stable. I've played hours and hours and I've had a blast. We're trying to get those W's. We're trying to win as much as possible. And today let's talk about how to win at Ninjala. The first thing you should do is pick the right mode for you. Right now, when the game has just launched, there are two modes, Battle Royale and Team Battle. Battle Royale is not the Battle Royale that you're thinking about, don't worry, it is not 100 people and everybody going crazy, no. It is a free-for-all, basically. Instead of Battle Royale, they should have called it free-for-all, but they didn't. Team Battle is Team Deathmatch, I guess, although there are side things you can do to get points for your team. and. I guess it depends on what type of player you are. If you want to just go and figure out like, hey, who can I take out before they take me out? If you're one of those types of players, you know that team battle is probably for you because that is the focus of it. Battle Royale has a little bit of a different focus and that's to get as many points as possible and you get points in different ways. So if you kind of just want to have a crazy good time just going after people and having battle after battle after battle, I recommend Team Battle. That's probably more suited for you. If you want to try to get first place, which I love getting first place, you're going to want to play the objective a little bit more. I say go for Battle Royale. Both modes are really, really fun and you know, jump in there, figure out which mode you like best, and then after that, you'll be way more successful. Pick the mode that's right for you. Next is finding the right weapon and abilities to suit your playstyle. There are nine total weapons in the game. There are three different classes. You have the standard katana type. You have a heavy weapon that trades off speed for massive damage, and then you have these yo-yo balls, which are very, very quick, but they do very little damage. They are all very well balanced, and each one of the weapons have different abilities. You're gonna wanna go in there, see what the special and the ability is for each weapon and find one that fits more your playstyle. If you like keeping your distance, I suggest going with the yo-yo. If you don't mind getting a little bit more up close and personal and taking more risks, go with a heavier weapon that would do massive damage. Make note of the abilities too. Next up, now you know what weapon you want, now you know what game mode you want to play, why not jump into the training? You jump into the training from the PvP menu, there you get to pick whatever weapon you want to try. And this is very good for becoming comfortable with the weapons and the speed of their attacks and the abilities that come along with them. You can modify their AI's behavior. You can even play in the actual levels, the two stages right now, which are WNA Academy and Eagle City. Eagle City in particular, I recommend going in there and going around because it is a very complex level. There is a lot of area to cover. There's a lot to do. There's multiple levels for you to be able to access. You can run up walls on giant skyscrapers. There is bubble gum rails for you to go over. Yeah, I recommend getting familiar with that. And one why not just, you know, after you decide which weapon looks cool to you, jump into the training, familiarize yourself with some of the combos, familiarize yourself with the abilities, and maybe even just run up some walls, fly around a little bit, and just become better acquainted with the gameplay. There's nothing less fun than diving into a game for the first time and everybody's so much better than you are because they've played a lot more. So why not have a leg up on the competition now that everybody is just now starting the game and already have a little bit more comfort with the gameplay itself. I think this is definitely something that pays off in the long run once you actually jump into the matches themselves. So seriously, definitely try out training mode, even if it's just for a few minutes, it'll help a lot. This next one is actually one of the very basic ones, but I feel like a lot of people just ignore it. And that is attack the drones. The more you attack the drones, the quicker you can get your weapon upgrade. If you don't know, the more you attack these drones, the more special you have. And once you have enough of it, you get to craft a bigger, better version of the weapon you currently have. It deals more damage and everybody wants it. The key to victory, in my opinion so far, is to 
get that stronger weapon as soon as possible because if you get it before everybody else you can kind of just like wreck everybody and that's something that i've been counting on doing a lot here i take out the enemy right away and then boom just go right back to attacking the drone the drones are on a respawn timer they are all over the map in the exact same spot every time so i kind of just go around the map as much as i can and make sure to get the drones and if i run across someone on the way awesome we, we can try to get points by getting some takedowns too but please do not forget to attack those drones you're gonna want to get your bigger weapon sooner rather than later it is of the utmost importance next i want to talk about attack priority because rock paper scissors is deeply woven into the gameplay of ninjala there are three types of attacks and the priority between normal attacks battle attacks and wide attacks is determined by, by the rock paper scissors system normal attacks are effective against wide attacks but ineffective against back attacks back attacks are effective against normal attacks but ineffective against wide attacks and wide attacks are effective against back attacks but ineffective against normal attacks all right that's a whole bunch of information but you will become more familiar with this just know that a big part of the gameplay is basically rock paper scissors and you're gonna want to act depending on the attacks that you see your opponent is performing all right let's talk about gum there is a lot of different effects that gum has on the gameplay you can gum shoot you can use gum bind you can gum dash you can guard with gum and it all matters an awful lot gum dash is something that for me is super super essential you blow a ninja gum bubble with b while in the air to execute a gum dash however dashing consumes s energy the s energy is the bar at the bottom left the one that i was speaking about earlier when i was talking about destroying the drones this allows you to get from one area to another more quickly better traversal you can run away all types of stuff gum bind if a player suffers a certain amount of gun damage via gum shots they will enter a gum bind state, rendering them unable to move or act. And then you defeat the opponent in the gum bind state and you automatically score an Epon, which is a defeat that gets you more points. Uh, gum guard, you get to use your gum as a block okay so the gum guard allows you to defend against normal back and wide attacks however if you are hit by a break attack your gum will be broken and you will suffer a gum bind and then you will get defeated and the epon will be used against you um, break attacks and gum break attacks can overcome opponents gum guards and espers successfully strike an opponent's gum guard with a break attack and you will gum bind them and you successfully strike an opponent's espers attack with a break attack and you will destroy their gum weapon and then they have to get themselves another one there's also gum morphing which allows you to transform yourself into one of the objects that appear on the stage gum utsuemi i hope i said that correctly <laughs> allows you to transform yourself into a specific object so as you can see gum has a lot of effects in this game and the more you play the more familiar you'll become with everything the one i will you know advocate for using quite a bit is use gum block for that you just have to hold a left trigger and you have the gum in front of you that will absorb an attack and you will not take any damage at all be careful because obviously that can backfire on you but it's a very good way to take less damage and i recommend everybody becomes familiar with gum and the various mechanics that it has in the game next let's talk shinobi cards and assist codes because i think these are really important you equip shinobi cards to gain access to a wide variety of skills Shinobi cards can also be used to enhance with assist codes to further heighten their effects. Assist codes can be leveled up by spending ninja medals. Medals are in-game currency that you get just for playing the game. You don't have to pay any real money, although there are microtransactions in the game. I think the microtransactions in this one are super fair and well done. Uh, Sudden Burst, uh, Master of Change, Ninja Sense Pro, those are all examples of Shinobi cards and they each have different stats and also the assist codes level those up so that you can you know have better abilities and better perks these are mostly passive skills and i think that it is really important for you to do this because i think a lot of people ignore this so if you are doing something that helps and makes your character be able to do something that everybody else can't do that's probably a good way of bettering your opponent if i can see who's behind me and my opponent can't i have a leg up on the battle right that's just kind of how it goes yes check out shinobi cards i think they're a very important part of being successful in this game and there you have it all of these small tips and techniques will help you win at ninjala go check it out it's free to play 
please jump in. I, I want this game to succeed because I think that they have a super solid foundation here where they can do something truly special if the player base is there. I think that the microtransactions are super well done here. You see me rocking my little ninja skin with, with my corn katana. I, I, it's all very cute. I love the music. I love the art style. Very reminiscent of Splatoon, as you guys can already tell. But this is free. They also have a single player that you do have to pay for. Right now, it's $5. So if you're interested at all, go pick that up. The multiplayer is free to play. And I hope that this game has a bright future. So season one is happening. And I hope that there are many more seasons to come. They promise, you know, more modes, more weapons, more skins, more levels. There's going to be a lot of improvements coming and I'm going to be here for all of it. We will periodically check in with Ninjala every once in a while. So for now, I hope you guys are having fun out there. Let me know. The servers totally work, by the way. If you had a hard time yesterday and you kind of gave up on it because the servers like were trash on day one, everything's been working since then. I've been having a ton of fun. I've played hours of the game. Check it out. Jump in. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and that is pretty much it shout out to special members Hi, how are you and don't forget to join our discord server link is in the description switch strong where like-minded Nintendo fans go to congregate and have good times You guys are fantastic. We'll see you on the next one switch force out